What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two news stories for you. Zero questions, so let's dive right in. In. Uh, so I'm recording this actually the same day I'm recording the last one because I'm heading to CES the day that you're watching this and I did not want to just throw a video in and have to break up my day in there. So uh, uh, you'll see a new video or different clothing at the very least uh, the next time you watch me. But anyways, first story of the day has to do with a really, really cool um, look at how games look on the Apple Find N2, especially when they're optimized for that big, weird, weirdly shaped display. This information comes from Ben Geskin, and this is what the optimized games look like on an Oppo Find N2. The field of view is not cropped in width, but added to the top and bottom. Unfortunately, most games are not optimized yet. They cut the sides, but here's a look. I believe this is PUBG, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see between the two different views that it actually looks a lot nicer on that bigger display as you would expect it to. And it just be, that's the one thing we've got to get with these folding phones is we have to get more apps and games optimized for that display so they don't cut off weird spots and they take full advantage of that bigger display. But I love seeing this, like the side-by-side -side comparison. It's so much more attractive on that nice big display. And our last story of the day has to do with a new slidable display that is going to be potentially unveiled at CES basically today, tomorrow, within the next couple of days from Samsung. And this thing is really, really cool looking. This is coming out of Korea and they're saying that open the screen and stretch it again, Samsung display form factor innovation, foldable, slidable hybrid panel development, screen expandable from eight inches all the way up to 12.4 inches will be unveiled at CES. And you can see how it's going to look and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, just by basically sliding it out. And obviously, if it's gonna be this big, I mean, I guess it could be a phone then turn into a tablet, but I really think it's gonna end up being a tablet. If they do release this as a full product, I can't imagine they're gonna release a, a phone with a tw ultimately a 12.4 inch display. It just seems, I, I, would I be happy with it? I'd be completely fine, but I just can't imagine they will do that. So I think this will come out as a tablet uh, when it does come up, but it's pretty cool stuff and I can't wait to actually see more of this, especially if it launches at CES. That's your news for today. Your question of the day is, would you buy that slidable phone tablet? Well, if, if, let's, I'll ask it as a two part. If it was a question, if it was a, ta a phone, would you buy it? Or is it just too big at 12.4 inches afterwards? Um, or would you have to have it only as a tablet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.